In this video, I'll be going over IDs in a quiz style for the cranial bones and bony landmarks of the skull. There's um, a bunch of tags on here, so I'll go through, show them to you, uh, write your answers down, and then I will go over the answers in the second half of this video. So I will begin. So here I have tags number one. Number two, these are tags of the whole cranial bone. Number three, so these aren't bony landmarks just yet. And number four, Okay, now number five is labeled differently. So take a guess why and what the arrows are pointing to. And write down your answer for number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. So now let's move on to bony landmarks. Number nine is pointing with an arrow. Number 10 and number 11, pay attention to the direction of the arrows because that's how it will show up for those two tags on a practical. Number 12, 13, 14, again, pay attention to the direction of the arrows, 15, 15 might be a little uh, complicated, but it's basically pointing to the big structure in the that's not necessarily bone if that helps and then 16 17 again pointing with an arrow 18 and 19 19 is tagged as the whole feature. See if you can identify the two bony landmarks specifically that make up this whole feature. We have 20, that's hard to tell, but this tag right here is number 20. And then 21. All right, that's all of them. Pause the video if you need to, uh, or go back and write down your answers. Make sure you got them all down, so, because I'm going to go over them now. So, number one is the frontal bone. Number two is the parietal. There's two of them. Number three, oh, number three is the occipital bone. Number four is the temporal bone. Number five is the, jeez. Oh, <laughs> number five is the coronal suture. Number six, all right, that's just gonna stay there for now, is the squamosal suture. Seven, the sagittal suture. Eight is the lamboidal suture that's here. And it, 
outlines the occipital bone. Number nine, your supraorbital foramen. Here. Ten is your superior nuchal line, or sorry, superior temporal line, and then the inferior temporal line. Twelve is the external occipital protuberance. Thirteen will be the superior nuchal line. Fourteen, the inferior nuchal line. Fifteen, the foramen magnum. Sixteen, the occipital condyles. Seventeen, external auditory meatus. Eighteen is the mastoid process. Nineteen is the zygomatic arch, being made up of the zygomatic process of the temporal bone in the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. 20 is the styloid process of the temporal bone. And 21 is the mandibular fossa. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, you need to check your answers with the actual tags. These are, here are all the answers, but I hope that was helpful.